Hello everyone. Our today's topic is unilateral neglect or also called as hemispatial neglect. Basically, people who have had a stroke, they tend to forget that side or they do not pay enough attention to that one weak side and their focus is always towards the opposite side, the stronger side. As a result, what happens? If I'm trying to think about, I will just clean my right side and forget that I also have to bathe this side. Or I'm washing my face and I washed my right face, the left is left away. Or I'm having a meal. My food is laid out in these different bowls and I'm only trying to eat from this side. But the left side, if that is my weaker side, is entirely missed out. So I leave this bowl all together because this neglect is not only a neglect by movement but also visually that this side is just not paid attention to. Even if the person has only one problem, either the sensations of the weak side are gone or overall there is a motor weakness but sensations pretty much are okay, still the person can have neglect. I've even seen neglect in people who did not have any motor issues, very very mild sensory problems and still they are kind of neglecting the side. Two main problems can be attributed to this neglect. First, the body awareness of the person is not that good. So they kind of have this postural imbalance. They try to focus more towards the good side. They try to do things more towards the right side. They have this strange posture and they don't even realize. You can check out my video on how to improve trunk control in sitting and how this particular problem does occur unless you look at yourself in the mirror and realize, okay, I have to correct myself. Secondly, there is a problem with midline orientation because there is some kind of imbalance that has happened in your brain that has lost the idea of how your horizontal and vertical orientation is. So unless there is a feedback, the person does not realize that the midline orientation and the postural control are both affected. Again, I'm going to direct you towards my video where you can check out activities which help to improve bilateral integration after a person have had stroke to improve further use of the left hand and the non-use or the weakness of one side can be overcome. In order to overcome unilateral neglect, it is okay. If you're trying to do bilateral tasks, you're trying to hold something, place the weak hand and then support it with the good hand. It is okay. Or if you're trying to stand up, support your left hand and then try to place it so that somehow your weaker side is always put to use. Second most important thing, no matter what, this is a very common tendency that the weak side is always kind of left behind. It is not paid attention to. So please teach the person that this arm should always be kept on the table in front. If they are sitting on a chair with armrests, either keep it in the armrest and if you have the tendency that the hand would slip down, try to keep it in your lap so that it's always forward visual anchors really help so if you saw this anchor has started from the right side you can actually make the person practice let's move further the person may say okay it's, it's gone after this so tell them can you try to turn your head and see if there is something else on this side and then they move on and they will know they have to pay attention to this side and as i said the best way is also to keep their hand you have to reach your left hand another way to overcome unilateral neglect is constraint therapy check out my video for that also just to give you a brief try to limit the movement or try to constrain your stronger hand so that your left hand only has to do the activities that are available try to make them very simple and at the level of the person preferably any activity that they were already doing from before so that they become interested like maybe they like reading so they try to turn the pages of a book mirrors are excellent to correct your posture, to increase your body awareness, to improve your midline orientation or the vertical orientation, which will improve your posture from this to this. So check out how mirror therapy is so useful, and especially for your balance and posture, it is an excellent way.
A few other techniques that can be applied are try to give some kind of sensory stimulation towards the left side. It could include tapping, it could include joint compressions, it can include some kind of sensory stimulation with different kind of textures so that the awareness of the weaker hand increases. Secondly, try to approach the person, talk to the person more from the weaker side so that it is easier for that person to respond or even if they try to respond one out of ten times initially, even that is something. Different kind of visual scanning activities can be done. For example, there is letter cancellation. Turn in the comments below if you found these techniques useful. Any other video suggestions you have regarding stroke recovery or any other neurological condition, we will cover it in the channel of Road to Rehabilitation. Like and subscribe and we will meet again. Bye.